Uh, so many thanks for your time and speaking to Bloomberg Quint. You know, uh, great wall motor is finally coming to India. Give me a sense of what are you bringing to India and when are you coming to India? Um, <clears throat> so today is the launch of GWM in India and we bring in two brands to India. The first one is uh, Havel brand which is uh, an SUV brand uh, and we ex we have an expertise in SUVs and we call it a global intelligent SUV expert. The second brand that we get into India is GWM EV wherein we specialize in electric vehicles and you will see a range of SUVs uh, in all segments and EVs as we move forward into the future. Right, and what kind of investment are you also going to make in India as you make your way uh, into India's automotive market? Uh, so uh, we are looking at uh, one billion dollar dollars of investment across uh, four areas. Uh, uh, if I have to pinpoint them, uh, the first one is uh, the manufacturing base, which we are going to have in uh, Thalegaon, uh, and the second area where we are going to invest is the vendor base. So we are looking at uh, and exploring vendors in India, in China, uh, and there's a lot of investment which is going uh, going to go into that. Uh, the third place uh, where we're going to invest is our uh, research and development center. Uh, we started our R&D center in Bangalore in uh, 2016. It's been four years. Uh, there's already a, a good amount of investment which has gone into it, and we will further strengthen R&D for our future technologies and uh, products which we'll launch in India. And uh, as we get closer to the launches, uh, we will have a lot of investment into marketing, sales, and network uh, as we move forward. Right, but you're coming at a time when the market, in Indian market especially, yeah. is heated up with players coming and eyeing a pie of the yeah. Indian market share. We saw Kia coming into there, MG is yeah. there. Yeah. You're perhaps going to launch your first product next year. Yeah, that's right. uh, how do you aim to stand out uh, in this market? Yeah. Uh, see, uh, I think um, uh, fundamentally at the core of uh, this business are the products. And we are very, very confident about our products that we are getting into the market because they are uh, very, very safe. If you look at the designs there, we have breakthrough designs and uh, and very important thing, we have intelligent safety in these cars, uh, both passive and active safety features. So I think uh, when you have such fantastic products at the core of uh, 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 such organization, then building a brand around it, creating a network around it, it, it becomes uh, much easier. So we're very, very confident that with this kind of pedigree and having leadership, and you can imagine uh, to become a SUV leader in China, it takes a hell of a lot. So if this brand and these cars can become leaders in China, there's no reason that why can't we uh, crack the Indian market. And what kind of capacity are you looking for? Uh, what kind of capacity you'll be building for India market? Uh, so uh, when we take this uh, manufacturing plant, uh, the capacity which already is there is 137,000 units. But of course, we need to do a lot of uh, restructuring uh, for the plant to suit to our models and products. Uh, so, uh, but to answer your question, it is 137,000 manufacturing capacity, which can be spruced up uh, as we uh, move forward. You did unveil an electric vehicle today as well. Will that a part of your uh, foray to Indian market as well, given that, again, we're also seeing a lot of push yeah. By automakers, as for the EV store is concerned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, as you know, you know, there's a there's a lot of uh, thrust on electric vehicles uh, from the government, uh, and uh, which is why we are also. Uh, very, which is why we feel very confident uh, as a part of this growth story, and uh, and and I think uh, GWM would be one of the companies uh, which would have launched specifically for uh, electric vehicles, and we call it GWM EVs. And uh, you can imagine from that the kind of thrust organization has, and we are very very confident uh, to be part of this uh, growth electrification growth story of India. But pricing is key for electric vehicle. Too soon to ask that question, but what kind of price point you're looking to enter, uh, both for SUV again and and for the electric SUV? As well. Yeah. See, we are looking at uh, uh, we are looking at cars which are, which will be very premium, very luxurious, and we are going to load them with the features uh, which uh, 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 which probably are not there, and that is one of our strategies to stand out in the market. So we are, will be giving uh, good value to the consumers, but uh, we are looking at you know loading the cars and giving a fantastic product to our uh, consumers overall. But for EV, are you looking at a lower price point, affordable price point, or again, or that will be a premium product? Yeah. Yeah, we are looking at uh, you know premiumness in all the cars that we launch. I think pricing would come later, but very important is uh, uh, to give cars to consumers what they like with the features what they want and uh, everything around it. What kind of product roadmap you have? SUP is one. Yeah. How many products are you looking to launch in India on a yearly basis? I, I think uh, I'll not be able to give you a specific number of how many cars, but what I can tell you is, uh, you know, we will be present in every SUV segment, uh, uh, starting from the small SUV, SUVs to the big SUVs. You will see our presence everywhere with the, all the breakthrough designs and technologies, and you will see Howell brand uh, in the front of it.
And, and is localization is going to be a, a larger push for you when you set up a uh, shop? Uh, of course, as I mentioned earlier, our supplier base, uh, we have a very strong supplier base in China. Uh, we, we are talking to them, uh, which all suppliers we can get from there. Uh, we have a very strong supplier base in India as well. We have strong suppliers. So we are still evaluating that strategy and you'll see a combination of both uh, as we move forward. So a lot of investment is going to get into that as well. All right, so it's a pleasure being with you. All the best for your flight to country. Thank you so much for your time.